a Hebrew understanding of Elohim. So in Genesis 1, the Bible says, Bereshit bara Elohim. In the beginning created God. But the word Elohim is plural. Does this mean that there are many gods? No, not in this case, because God tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 6 that he is echad, that he is one. Why then is Elohim plural? Is this the plural of majesty as the rabbis teach to show God's greatness and his glory by using a plural form? I don't think it is, and I'll show you why. In Genesis 1 verse 26, it says, Vayomer Elohim, and God said, Naaseh, let us make Adam. Let us make man. Betzalmenu kidmutenu. In our image, as or after our likeness, after our similitude. Not only is the verb to make in the plural, but so is the possessive nouns of our image and our likeness. Using it in this way is not the plural of majesty, nor do I believe that God is telling the angels that they are going to take part in his creative act, saying, let us make man in our image. It's God alone that did the creating. An actual example of the plural of majesty can be seen in Job 40, where God tells Job, Hine na behemot, behold now behemoth. Now behemot is a plural noun. Behema means one animal, one beast of the field. Behemot means animals or beasts of the field in the plural sense. And then God tells Job about this majestic animal, asher asiti imach, meaning I made him with you. When we look at the description of this majestic animal, Bahamut, it describes a dinosaur. The Bible says that he eats grass like an ox, his strength is in his belly, and his tail is like a cedar tree. This majestic animal is so great and mighty that God uses the term Bahamut to describe it. But then when it talks about he eats, or his strength, or his loins, or his belly, or his tail, it's all in the singular. This is not what we find in Genesis 1 when God talks about creating man and he says, Naase Adam Batsalmenu Kidmutenu. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Does this verse teach that God is three in one? Does this prove the Trinity? No, it does not. It does not explicitly teach that. But I believe that it allows for God himself to be a plurality in unity. One God, three manifestations of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.